Sonny Stephen Hill's back in the team. You guys must be really excited to have him back in there with you. Yeah, definitely. It's been a long time coming for him. Um, but, you know, we know what sort of um, trainer he is and we know that, you know, he's coming in this week, but he's going to be he's, he's going to be ready. What is it like to play with a guy like him and, and the, the stuff that he brings that really not many people can do? How, how much does it add to the team and to what you do? Yeah, I mean, it adds so much. Um, that confidence that um, I know what sort of training he's done. Um, I know he can come in and play his role. But just him being out there, he's played you know, over 200 games now. And, and each game, we know what we're going to get when we walk down the race with him. And that's, and that's what we really want. We want those players that, that we know what we're going to get whenever we walk down the race each, each week, each game with that player. And he's one of those players that we know that he's going to go out there and play his role. Is it exactly what you need after losing those two blokes? In such poor circumstances. And to get a shot in the arm like this, is it kind of the jolt you needed, maybe? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we don't want to lose players, um, especially quality players in Alex Pierce lobby. Um, but to get someone back like Stephen Hill um, would just give us a massive um, boost uh, with with confidence, like I said. But um, also, you know, we we know what we're going to get. We're going to get that 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 run off half back if he's going to play half back. But also in the middle, we know what he can do. So um, it's exciting. Um, from all parties. So it's normally club practice to come back through the waffle. Or has he got the ability to come straight back in? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's proved over over a long period of time training in rehab. Um, you know, and we know that the club and the and the fitness staff won't chuck someone in unless unless they know they're ready. So GPS um, stacks up um, over the period of time that he was in rehab. And um, like I said, you know, I'm just excited to see him back out there. Where do you expect him to play? Yeah, like I said, he's one of those players that's, uh, that's pretty durable, so you can play him half back um, on the wing, but also in the middle as well. So um, it's exciting because we can play him in those in those um, different positions. So yeah, it's going to be good. Does it give you the opportunity to maybe spend a little bit more time forward, having another experienced material? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's one of those players, as I said, durable. We can we can run flips and um, and change us throughout a game, which could also put me back down in the forward line as well, which is. They're also good for us. And he's known as one of the best kicks at the club, which means you, know I mean? you, and, nah. you, you and Dave are going to have to share that <laughs> with him there. Um, what's it going to be like for you for what you think having a player like having a carry the ball? And really yeah, it's going to be exciting, especially for guys like um, Hogs as well. You know, he just has to make those little leads and you know that Stephen Hill's going to hit you on the chest. So um, to have someone with that sort of foot skill, but also the footy now, the smarts that he has, is going to be um, important for us um, going forward. Your ninth fair eight, how big a game is this? Yeah, it's a massive game, and I know it's all cliche. Each each week we want to play our best, but um, this week, um, as you said, they're ninth, uh, we're ninth there eight. It's a quality game. Um, you know, we just need to go out there and be more consistent. We know what they want to bring. They've got a lot of quality tours, um, Lysett, Ryder, and uh, Westoff. So we need to make sure we maintain them, but also their midfield is strong as well. So. Um, we need to make sure we're on our on our toes. Are you going to have to play maybe a little bit more of a defensive mindset in the midfield because Paddy Ryder in particular can spoon feed midfielders if he gets over the top of a ruckman. Yeah, definitely. Um, we need to play you know, each each game. I mean, it's been a it's been a pretty tight competition this year. Each game you need to be more defensive minded um, because we are such a young group as well. But um, in saying that, we want to play our role as well. We want to play our brand of footy. Um, you know, as I said, we. We have to be more consistent with that. Um, we've had a lot of patches in games where we've been inconsistent, so um, we just want to go out there and play our brand of footy too. Are these the type of games you have to win if you're going to sneak into the finals this year? Maybe? Oh, I mean, we have to win every game, um, but it's also good to get games at home, um, win those games, but um, we've also proved that we can win away as well. We played some quality teams away and, and some quality teams at home, and I thought that, as I said, at times we have been more, um, a little bit inconsistent. Um, so we just need to find that consistency and um, hopefully it's a good game. And what are the odds inside the last two minutes, three points down, get the ball in your hands again? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm just hoping it doesn't get down to that. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, anyone could sort of take that. I mean, the first one was a point, so... Um, it's a good kick, though. Yeah, I thought it was on. But, um, no, nah, I mean, it's good, you know, it's, especially Sir Doug Nichols' round to, um, to finish with a ball like that um, was exciting for myself and... And it made me feel pretty good, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm here to play my role, and um, my role is to, is to keep the goals when I get a chance. Russ said yesterday that you, Stephen Hill, and Brad Hill were his, were his favourites, were his top three. Where do you think you sit? 
Yeah, I'm probably up there. Um, <laughs> nah, oh, I mean, Ross is pretty good. He's, um, you know, he's that sort of coach that is real family orientated, and um, but he loves these players. And you know, although he made a joke about that, but I guess you know all the players are, are pretty equal, um, and that's why we love playing under him. He's such a he's such a driven person, but he drives us to be better people, and um, you know, and that's why we love him. Did you catch the footy last night? Yeah. Did you see the Sydney stack at Eddie Betts, and what did you think about it? Oh, it was a great goal, but for them, the you know, for Stacky to walk up to someone, you know, and somebody probably idolised too growing up, um, we know how tough it was him for. Um, for Sydney to get drafted, um, for him to go up and um, give him a shake of the hand and um, appreciate such a, you know, a spectacular goal like that, um, it's a credit to him and it, and it shows what sort of person and kid he is. So you, look, some people would say that you shouldn't do that in the game, it's competitive, and other, but, you, but you're on the other side, you think it's a good thing to do, would you ever do something like that? Or? Yeah, well, like, you know, growing up, I love footy. Um, I idolised Eddie Betts, Cyril Rioli and that. Um, and there's no doubt, you know, I'm sort of in the Sydney stack category that, you know, I enjoy that sort of stuff. And, you know, it wasn't going to change the game, him walking up and giving him a bit of a hug. And, I mean, I enjoy that. Because you know with Sydney, he's going to be going hard the next time there's a contest anyway, don't you? Well, there's no doubt about it. Sydney's a hard player. So, um, you know, and it's, a, and it's also a gross mindset for him as well that, you know, he can play on someone like that and learn something from him as well to make him a better player. I think when you took that mark over Jeremy McGovern in the Derby last year, when you got up, he had a big grin on his face as well. It was almost just to say, you got me that time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and that's the sort of thing, you know, we, we play footy because we're, cause we're here to, to entertain, but also we're human as well, and we, and we like seeing stuff like that as well. Sonny, a lot of talk about the Optus Stadium surface this week. How have you found it personally? Uh, me being 75 kilos, I don't really feel too much, but, um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I don't really feel it, um, so I can't really comment on it, really. You haven't noticed that you're a bit sore or anything in the aftermath of a game there? Nah, the only time I'm, I'm sore is, um, you know, I've, I've been playing more in the midfield, so it's more my body getting a bit sore um, rather than my feet or my legs or anything. So. Just on Harley Bennell's progress, is that, you've seen him come back and get close to playing him coming back a couple of years ago. Where do you think he's at? How close is he to making a return? Yeah, I've, I mean, I've... He's been training with us for a while now, so um, you know he's one of those players that can um, play in the waffle. You know he's been dominating the last couple of games, but he's also you know if he does come back in the AFL um, within the next couple of weeks, he's going to be an, another one like Stephen Hill. He's going to come in and play his role. Um, he's another one with you know some of the best skills that I've seen, and I've been here 11 years, so um, we know what we're going to get from him. And he's proved it at the Gold Coast, but he's also proved it here as well. Hey, so you said. Speaking about Stephen Hill, you think he's someone that could provide a spark potentially for that finals push uh, in the second half of the season? Yeah, well, I mean, we're not really talking about finals, really. We've still got another you know, half the season to go. But Stephen's going to come in. It's his first game back. He's going to be a little bit rusty. There's no doubt about it. But um, like I said, he's going to be that type of player that's just going to play his role. How important is a big game for Sean Darcy? And it's a pretty tough task to go against one of the best two-pronged rough attacks in the comp. Yeah, definitely. And he's another one who's been out for a while too. So... Um, we just want him to come in, um, compete. Like you said, they're the best, they're the best ruckman in the competition duo going around. So um, we just want him to come in and compete, bring the ball to ground, um, but also um, put on that big body pressure that we need. And have you watched much of the Eagles uh, footage from them playing at Optus? What? Uh, when they blew out the Eagles at Optus Stadium, have you have you guys covered much of that footage? In the yeah, no, exactly. We've you know we sort of covered Port Adelaide um, most of the games. It's, we're not just looking at the one game, but. Um, like I said, we know what they're going to come over and do. They're going to bring that pressure, and um, you know they played you know some good footy when they went to Shanghai. So we just need to make sure we're on our toes and um, and get ready for a real um, fierce contest.